So, before you watch this video, I advise you guys, especially if you haven't done it and you want to do it and ex like see it for yourself, get your own genuine sort of reaction to the release, go ahead and do so before watching this video. This video is to emphasize my opinions and just go into a bit of a talk about the December 6, 2022 release for the new region over here in New Genesis. Alright, if you don't care about you going through the stuff and personally experiencing it and just wanting to hear my opinions and whatnot, that's the rest of this video. If you want to see a certain point, look in the description for the time skip. I'll try to keep this short. If you haven't seen the live stream of me going through the release, it was the day after, you could see that in the upper right or in the description. You'll hear a lot of my commentary here and there with its release. Note that I didn't fully explore every little detail, but I it's it's pretty much following the same sort of thing upon the Kavaris release, and maybe it could be the same thing with the Retim release, but especially with the Kavaris release, since I was there, I did do a live stream and then a reaction to it. It's kind of like that. You have a new region, you got more stuff to play around with, new minerals, new gear to try to farm for, new mobs, new bosses and all that, but that's pretty much it. Once you hit that brick wall, especially once you get everything, you just get to kind of repeat the same sort of thing you've been doing throughout the time of New Genesis. That could be a good and or bad thing depending on your perspective, but that's pretty much like the short sort of opinionated synopsis of it all. Now, if you agree with it, great. If not, you disagree and you want to put your comments about it, do so in the comments. But yeah, now this is where I'm going to go more into details about my opinions and go further into key things that interest me didn't interest me and all that so obviously when it comes to this new region it's a volcano area and it has a lot of themes around the lava creatures and all that well not yet i think there are some creature variants that did surprise me i reacted to the boss accordingly upon the story progression you can see that once again in the live stream in terms of the story in itself Still a lot of unanswered questions that bothers the living heck out of me and I want them answered because I I'm starting to question like if you guys have been fighting these things for so long why is there no sort of progress progress or records or like any sort of like key development of like what are we doing against these things now if I'm wrong about that like correct me in the comments but um I it, it still leaves a lot of the big questions unanswered. When it comes to some character development, seeing personalities, emotions, and all that, there were a few moments that surprised me, especially with how our character, our actual character in the game, did something, which I liked greatly. They should have more of those moments because, once again, it's a role-playing game, and we're supposed to be kind of in the midst of it, not like in the background, just watching Ina and Manon just like lead the entire thing. We gotta be the driving force too. So that kind of amped up like my shock and my wow. But other than that, nothing too grand. And obviously these new characters that they introduced, they're okay. Once again, if you only go through the main story, you only see that main story bit. If you talk to them out on the field, you'll see a bit more of the character personality and have a bit more of a, pers uh, a reaction and interaction sort of deal. But in terms of uh, the things you get to do after that, you get to farm for the new stuff. You get to try to get all these minerals so you can just upgrade the things that you got. That's new. It's, it's still repeating the patterns and I hate it. I hate it. Um, I can go more into details about that in a separate video. But ultimately, it's nothing too exciting for me to just try to be active again with this game i granted that i was but there's a reason to why and this is why especially with me trying to stay in this game it's hard especially with what happened now if you don't know what happened you, it depends on if i want to share this the thing note that i'm not going to make a video stressing on it and whatnot like already a few people already know what happened uh but because of that and then also not getting any sort of response that's driving me away from this game. Now, it sucks because, you know, I've, I've been trying to stay loyal at least, or trying to still stick it through with New Genesis, but it's hard. Like, I will still be here, still trying to do stuff, still wrap up the things that I mentioned, but some of the key projects that I was going to work on and do, 
it's gonna go down the drain because I just don't have the other thing that I have. So, I just leave it vague like that. But anyways, this release was okay. Um, do you need to play it? Not really. You'll get to it eventually. You do it at your own pace sort of deal. But yeah, that is it. So, let me know your own opinions, your own comments about the stuff. What you liked, what you disliked. Share it down below. See you guys in the next video. Peace.